Imagine this, a user comes to your site and they're prompted to set up a passkey. The next time they visit your site, they can sign in with just a tap of their finger or a scan of their face. Does that mean that your site is now doing biometric authentication and handling biometric data? No. Let's talk about how passkeys really work and how biometrics is and isn't related. Welcome to Passkeys Explained. It's Passkeys Week, and as part of that, we're really excited to be starting this new series where we answer some common questions about using and implementing passkeys. We'll be releasing a series of short videos like this one over the coming weeks, so keep an eye out if you're keen to catch them all. Today, I want to explain the basics of how passkeys work and how biometrics work alongside them to provide extra security. But first, what even is a passkey? It's like a password, but better. You can use it to log in to your favorite sites and apps just like with a password, but in a safer and easier way. Under the hood, it's a public-private key pair. Now, unlike with passwords, you don't need to choose between remembering a passkey or saving it somewhere. It's generated for you and is always unique for every site you use. The passkey is always stored on your behalf and then retrieved when necessary. It can be stored in a password manager, on your device, or on a physical security key, and the best part is you get to choose which. If you're not sure what to choose, we strongly recommend a password manager that syncs your passkeys to all of your devices like Google Password Manager. When you go to sign in, you'll often be prompted to prove it's really you. This can be with your fingerprint, face, or a screen lock. It's important to know that your biometrics like your fingerprint or face never leave the device and aren't shared with the website. This check is happening entirely locally and is something that the password manager is requiring before it accesses the passkey to help you sign in. This provides an additional layer of security on top of the passkey, making sure that nobody else can sign in as you, even if they have access to your device. So if biometric data isn't being sent around, what is? At a technical level, a passkey is a term we use to refer to the private key of a public-private key pair created for a specific combination of a website and account. Once the password manager is sure that it's you, it doesn't send the passkey to the website. Instead, it does a calculation with the passkey and sends the result to the website, proving that it has the right passkey. Remember that passkeys are really public-private key pairs, so the password manager is just using the private key to sign a payload that gets sent to the website. The website can use this payload and the associated public key to finish the sign-in. To reiterate, the passkey and biometric data never left the device. Users can rest assured that there's no risk of biometric data being leaked sold for profit, or being used to track them. To summarize, biometric authentication is only a small part of using passkeys, and there are even cases where it isn't involved at all. Public key cryptography is the real champion and deserves the credit for the benefits passkeys can provide. To find out more about Passkeys Week, check the link in the description.